You can't connect to your SharePoint folders with Power Query. Well, let me show you how to do it. Here's my SharePoint site. There's my document library, and I've got my actuals. So I've got some Excel files uh, with actuals captured for January, February, March, and April. And I want to be able to connect to this folder to merge that data from those Excel files. Um, so let me show you how. So the first thing you do is, is what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the path of my hosting SharePoint site. So not the actual path of the library, the path of the hosting SharePoint site. So I'm going to do control copy and then I'm going to go to Excel. So I don't have enterprise license here. So I'm going to do data ribbon, get data, and I'm going to do from other sources. So you'll see I don't have online services. Um, I don't have more options and I'm going to select blank query. Then in the formula bar, I'm going to type this. I'm going to do equals SharePoint and I want SharePoint contents like so. I'm going to do an open bracket. I'm then going to do a double quotation mark and I'm going to paste that, that SharePoint path in. Control V and then go to the right of those quotation marks and do a comma. I'm then going to do an open square bracket and I'm going to type API with an uppercase A and then version with an uppercase V, like so, equals 15. And I'm going to click the tick. And there we go. So you can see shared documents, which is my document library. I'm going to click that table there. I'm then going to click table for sales data. And then finally, I'm going to click table for actuals. And there are my Excel files, like so. Yeah. And then if I just sort those, uh, let's just sort them. So I've got one, two, three, four. I'm then going to remove other columns because I don't need them now. I'm then going to click the double downward arrows here to combine the data. And here we have, um, I'm going to select sheet one, I'm going to click OK. And boom, there is my data holding to Power Query for all my Excel files in that folder. And that is where I'm going to end this short video. So if you want to see more on how I use that data in Power Query and Power Pivot, then click that link below. Come on, let's do this.